Grams posted a video. I saw the first few minutes and I kind of felt bad. A lot of you are probably not going to like my view on this video, but I definitely saw a different perspective. When I saw her in that Uber ride, it reminded me of myself. I'm going to explain. Let's go ahead and watch the whole video. I have not seen the whole thing. She posted a video called Receiving Random Messages from Strangers. Y'all ready to react? Let's get it. Necessities. But dating ain't one of them. Being a parent doesn't have to be one of them. It's not a requirement. It doesn't make you who you are. Right. Make sure you are. It's how you carry yourself. Right. How you move. Somebody in front of you, behind you, around you, or miles and miles away from you. Right. If you're nice and all, it, Exactly. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. My dog's back there. No, no. No. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Sorry about that. Connection. Yep. So true. You know, you giving me random advice. Just. <laughs> So she's in this Uber ride, and when I saw this scene, it reminded me a lot about myself because I use Uber a lot. And during these Uber rides, I learn so much from the drivers. I get to talk in. I learn about their past, their, their upbringings, their current situations, their experiences. And in return, I gain a little bit more knowledge without them even realizing they're kind of giving me advice of my own situations that's happening in the moment. This conversation could very much be touching her in a way. She needs stuff like this. I feel like she doesn't have anyone close to her to help guide her in a positive direction. And you guys, it doesn't have to be someone close. It could literally be a stranger, an Uber driver. This could be helping her. So I hope so. I hope it... I hope it opens up her eyes a little bit more to the situations that's happening right now. For a reason. Reason that you know and the reasons that you don't know beyond what you know, you know? Right. And uh, whether she broke up with you or you broke up with her, at the end, you look at it, you look back to it, and it's for the best. Right. Because what if you continue? Then she's going to do something probably worse to you. Exactly. Right. Giving none of these bitches some chances. Uh uh. Mm -mm. If you're talking about Arby, no, ma'am. She's over here going to court trying to get you locked up, okay? <laughs> Definitely not no chance. No chance at all. You, I feel like the universe and God is showing me to like accept people for who they are when they show you who they are the first time. Exactly. Okay. You're learning a little right. bit. Again, from the other perspective, it's the same type of advice. If Grams is showing Ari who Grams truly is early on, take that and run. <laughs> She's got a perspective of her own too. As narcissistic as she is, it's still her experience, okay? She still hurts in some way for whatever it was that hurt her. She, she has feelings, you guys. I don't, want, I don't want to talk about Grams as if she's not human. I don't want to bully her. Almost everyone on the internet and in her personal life despises this girl and don't like her and gets annoyed by her. And I feel bad for that because I don't want to be on that bandwagon. 
okay? When I do my reactions on grams, it really is my true opinions. But I hate the fact that everyone else has the same type of <laughs> opinions about her. Because then I feel like we're ganging up on her. You get what I'm saying? You guys, she's she's got a life of her own, too. She's 36 years old. She's gone through some shit, too. She just has so much more to learn. The only problem that she has is that she doesn't learn from her experiences. She doesn't do anything different with the next person, as she should. So, but she's human. We all have flaws, including me. I get cramps. Cramps like, don't forget this turn. That's happened to me many times. I had to remind the Uber that he's taking me somewhere. Or having such a relationship with somebody else that they could see something that you can't see because you're too caught up with, with what you, you where, where you're in. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're really reliable. Right. She's done with him. I appreciate you. She took what she needed and that's it. She's like, okay, this motherfucker just keeps on talking. Like, I'm done. Be in general, see your day. Uh, yeah, y'all see the brand. Got my boy Moon right and Finesco. <laughs> yeah, I'm at work at my locker. My lunch break over. I'm about to take my ass upstairs. But y'all see that? I got my boy Moon rocking the grams. That's what's up. Rocking some Aaron Finesco. That's, That's what's how up. We do. I like that. You know what I'm saying? That support, y'all. That support. A co-worker supporting you and in your endeavors. It can't get better than that. Sometimes it'd be the people on the outside of the circle that supports you the most. Little I like that. Gotta go. What up to my Grammy family? It's Graham Jenny checking in and I'm back with another banger. What it do, what it is, what it ain't, y'all. As you can see, I'm currently at work. I got like two, three minutes left on my break. But I wanted to talk to y'all real quick because I haven't been vlogging much. Um, I've really been super busy. I've been getting a lot of things in order for my birthday. I'm so excited to tell you guys the new exciting news. That what I is she? What sign is she, y'all? Is that Aquarius? Let me know. Comment below if y'all know. When it comes down to my birthday, just know that, hey, I'm doing big things over here. Really like just getting life back together, getting the ball rolling. Okay, um, okay. Listen, the one, one thing I will not do is put down a person for trying her best. She's got a lot of shit to take care of. She can do more, she could do better. And that's what I would want for her. From a woman of color to another woman of color in the lesbian community, like you have to support each other in some way. I really wish her the best and I hope she accomplishes all her goals in life. I don't know. I don't it just know takes work. Say, you just gotta like put in the work. Y'all know I don't never really vlog in public. I know oh, I'm I'm at home because where I'm that's where I'm more comfortable at. So I'm trying to get some practice in here. So okay. I can get used to the whole book being a uh traveling <laughs> vlog. Because I'm gonna Wait. Go from this point forward. Where are you Sitting going? Still, I feel like I'm out that phase now of being still. But I can't wait to. See, I like that already. She's trying to make changes in her life. It's the baby steps. I vlog out in public. I get a lot of weird looks. Of course. Do I care? No, because they're strangers. I don't know them. I won't see them in the next hour. Who cares? So I'm used to vlogging out in public. But um, it's definitely an experience. Um, you'll get comfortable eventually. What she's doing is getting out of her comfort zone so that she can get comfortable. And that's the only way to do it is to get out of that. So, okay, she's making moves. She's doing some Let's different things. With you guys. Like um, it? I'm gonna go clock the hell in before I be late. All right, I'll talk to y'all when I get to the crib. Gotta go. Tupac. She's listening to Tupac. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> what it do, gang? I am back. I told y'all I was going to vlog when I got home. 
And I'm just sitting here chilling, relaxing. I took a couple shots, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I needed that. It's been a long work week, and I feel like sometimes you just have to release, relax, and rejuvenate. Agree. Those are my favorite R's. Call me triple R, because I like to relieve, relax, and rejuvenate. That's so true, and it's so random. Got another Uber driver. Let's hear this, this conversation. Yes. I'm down to hear this shit. I love deep conversations. I'm very bad with small talk. I don't like it when someone tells you, good morning, how are you? And then they leave it at that. Or how was your weekend? Or anything new happening? Like, no, like let's talk, let's get deep into conversations. Let's talk about it. Those Uber rides, I'm telling you y'all, some of the best conversations you'll ever have. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's why I don't like to hold grudges because I feel like when you hold a grudge, it's basically like creating a bond between you and a person that you shouldn't even be associated with anymore. So I'd I agree. Rather you have to forgive. It doesn't mean you have to keep them in your lives, but forgiveness goes a long way. Your heart is too heavy. You don't want your heart to be that heavy. Forgive. Apologize to myself and for the person mm. so I can move on. I like that. Apologize I to yourself. Drama. I don't want to sit. I've never heard that before. Apologize to yourself. Like understanding that you are not a perfect being, that you do make mistakes. Apo don't be too hard on yourself. So apologize to you first and then the other person. Okay. Graham spitting some advice. Right. type person i remove myself yeah. because i'm only you're an avoidant older. you're an avoidant and it's like I you don't avoid keep being anybody's pin cushion mm -hmm. but you want to have closure though you don't want to just let things simmer and leave it at that you want to have that closure before you leave the situation and that's what happened here with her and ari she ghosted her <laughs> there was no closure there you left this girl confused and not understanding what happened and because of that the book the book was not closed up until this point now that the law is involved it is closed but oh Right. It's because you love them. You, you let them. them. You let them. Facts. Mm -hmm. And it's usually the people closest to you because they think, what are you going to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why there's a lot of family drama. We are the worst to our family members because we know they'll forgive us. It can be siblings. It can be cousins, uncles, aunts, parents. They'll hurt you, but because you use the excuse of, well, you know, that's my sister. Well, that's my brother. Uh, that's my mom. They continue to do it. It's okay to have boundaries for yourself. Some people dare you to cut them off yeah. because they don't know how to just remove themselves. So they yeah. self-sabotage and they wait for you. Definitely. And those are the people you hold space for. Facts. I can tell it's an older man driving. She's in a deep thought right now. But today's gonna be a beautiful <laughs> day. We're alive. It's a blessing. We got another set of 24 hours to be greater than we were yesterday. Yes, girl. 
hope that for you, girl. I really do. It's not, it's not a good feeling to have a lot of people against you. It's, it's just not. It's a very lonely place to be in. I don't know how she's feeling. Okay, I'm pretty sure she can care less about my sympathy. I'm just expressing about how I feel about her at this moment. It's a lonely place to be in. Like, imagine if you already don't feel good about yourself, but you present to the world that you love yourself so much. And then all these people just keep beating you down, beating you down from all over. People that don't know you on a personal level. People that do know you on a personal level. All this negativity going towards your direction, it does not feel good. So I feel for her when it comes to that. I don't think anyone deserves that. And I understand that some of this is because of her doings, but guys, come on. We're not perfect. I'm not for damn sure. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I've hurt people unintentionally, but I did regardless. But I put in the work, you know, and, and I hope she takes the time to do that too. Because we evolve. <laughs> That's true. This is harassing you. <laughs> it's all about evolving. I definitely enjoy watching your videos, so they're funny. For real? Oh, that's cool. Aww. <laughs> That's the goal, and I'm glad. I, you're I love that. Because that's my message I want to put out. Like, regardless of what's going on in the world and your life, just, just be happy. I like to make light of situations because I know that I don't want to go into a dark place. Sometimes, even when you do that, it still happens. Like, that's the thing about depression. You can have a house, you can have a career, you can have a wife, family, kids, a car. But depression is a chemical imbalance in the brain. Sometimes it just happens and it occurs. It's just wired that way. And you still end up in a dark place. But what I was going to say was, I love that he watched her videos, okay? And he complimented her on it. That's so beautiful. That's, some people are good people, you know? But I'm glad you got that from my videos. And I'm glad you went and watched them. I appreciate you. I love that. I love that. What's crazy about it is that he didn't even tell her that he watched them. Not yet. A whole conversation occurred before he even said that. So that's how I know that he watched her videos not to tell her that, she, that he watched them. But he was actually interested and curious to watch them. I love that shit. Yep. Yep. You remember. That's so awesome, yeah. I like that. <laughs> you say, I'm, hey, I'm not lying, I did watch it. That's I cool. love that shit. <laughs> Making me smile. That's cool. That made her feel good. See, that's motivation for me to keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it, Grams. I went like two months without posting. I don't want you to stop. To, like, just... Oh, it's work. I can already tell what you're doing. It is work. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you're from, you've gotten good at it where it's not as much work because you're good at it. Thank you. But for someone like, say, say I want to try and emulate here what you do, it would take a lot of work. Yeah, I think so. And now after I worked on it, it would become easier. Right, right. Yeah, I put years into this. Oh, this I is. Can tell. Like seven, eight years. But it's still got a lot of learning to do. And I done got ignorant to a, like watching other people. Like I don't like watching other people and learning. I don't know. I don't want to pick up you on. Be you. Yeah. I want to stay in my lane. You want to create so your I own stuff. To what I know and try to make myself better. And not and copy so much. I want to the table, not burst off, based off of what everybody else is right. doing. Yeah, the cool stuff you do is like the little sound effects and stuff. Yep. <laughs> I do like her edits, I will say that. Yeah. Almost. And her comedic point of views. Most of it is just personality, for real. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That made her feel good. I like that. You guys, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to compliment somebody. Anyone that you come across today, just compliment them. It doesn't matter what it is. Say something nice. 
They probably need it. Work, make some moolah, and get back home. I do have to upload a video tonight because I've been slacking for the last couple of days. It's my birthday month. And I told them I was going to vlog almost every day of this month. If not every day, but I can't do every day. January 30th. That's Aquarius, right? I'm sorry if there's any anti-grams watching this video, but you guys, she is a human. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're all fucked up in some way. We all got some type of mental disorder. Just because you're not diagnosed doesn't mean you don't got something. All right, you guys, stay tuned for my next video. Peace.